small failures in your life go unresolved? What happens when you have secret things that you do that you know are wrong, but you don't tell anybody about it? What happens to you? I'm standing next to what's called the Freeman Run. It's in a small, tiny little town called Austin, Pennsylvania. The small little tiny town of Austin has a small tiny little stream. It also has the tiniest, smallest school district in the entire state of Pennsylvania. However, this town also has the privilege of being a landmark because at one time, over a hundred years ago, it made national headlines whenever this dam broke. The Austin Dam. I'm Pastor Jim Line, and I want to talk to you today about unresolved sin, unresolved conflict, what can happen when you don't have a safe outlet, and when you don't confess, and when you don't repent of sin. There's a danger. The Bible says, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. It also says the small foxes are what spo spoil the vines, the small things that get in. Whenever you feel as though there's a small issue in your life that does not need resolved or corrected, what happens is those small bad things start to build up behind a structure, meaning you, your flesh, that isn't all that strong. You might think it's strong and mighty. This dam broke because it was supposed to be a certain thickness, but it wasn't made that way. Matter of fact, a second dam was built back in the... In, back in the 40s, I believe, and it broke as well. That one did not take life. When this dam broke, 78 lives were killed. An entire town was wiped out. Businesses and homes, an entire paper factory, factory suffered when this dam broke, but mostly the loss of life. 78 people died because uh, there were faults in the structure, small little faults in a massive structure. How many people do you know that were supposed to be leaders church people especially how many people do you know that had small little hidden secrets hidden sins in their life that weren't resolved how many times have you built up anger in your life and frustrations and didn't have a safe outlet and suddenly it broke what happens when you have unresolved conflict how do you resolve issues in your life that may be harmful Jesus Christ offers hope he offers hope for the hurting. The Bible says if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all our righteousness. If we don't confess, if we do things in secret, the small little vines eventually will break. The small little foxes will eat away and cause things to go sour. And next thing you know, you're looking at destruction. 78 people's lives were lost from a tiny little stream flowing through a tiny little town with the tiniest little school district in all of Pennsylvania because there were faults in the dam. There are faults in the, structure, in the structure. What faults do you have in your life? How can you resolve them? You can turn them over to Christ. Christ Jesus is the only safe outlet, the only one who can forgive of sins, the only one who can resolve issues. We can live holy before God and know that letting things out safely and smoothly can result in saving lives. I'm Pastor Jim Lyon.